Hello Aries and welcome to your relationship love reading. Aries, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's clarity or guidance in those readings for you. My name is Rudy. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate all you all being here. All right. Again, this is timeless. Whenever you find this, I believe it is meant to be uh, found by you. Okay, let's see. I'm doing a new spread, so I'm kind of looking here at what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. Let me overlap these just a little bit. Sorry. Aries, you're always my guinea pig because I always start with you. And I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'll have to get the camera going. Hang on. Okay. They're saying to go with this and keep it upside down. Not upside down. Gosh. Go with this deck and keep it down. Okay. Now we've got the moon on the bottom of this deck and we have the four of wands on the bottom of this deck. All right, guys. So the way this works is this is your role in the relationship. This is your partner's role in the relationship. This will be your past energy. This is your future. And then this will be your final outcome card. So that is what we're seeing here. I hope everybody can see here. Your role in the relationship, Aries. We have the awakening. We have the two of cups and the nine of swords. Wow. So you're just showing me, we have basically the judgment card here. We have the two of cups and we have the nine of swords. There is a, um, judgment's a card of Scorpio. All right, Aries, we have the awakening and it is the judgment card. This talks to me about being given another chance, being given she is rising out of the ashes. She's a phoenix rising up out of the ashes. And, you know, we've all felt that feeling before where you're given a second chance. You're given a clean slate. Um, you know, maybe somebody, you feel like somebody took a chance on you or somebody, um, you could have been in the relationship with this person, maybe being given a second chance, possibly, but you have this feeling of starting over, starting fresh, starting new, starting again. And with the Two of Cups, it shows, you know, partnership, it shows love, it shows commitment, it shows kind of wanting the same thing. I feel like a mirror imaging of what you want, they want. I'm not saying you're the same person by no means, but what you want, they want, and they have a feeling. So it can be the lover's card. It can also be a bringing balance back into your love life or into your love life. Then you have the nine of swords. So there could be something that you're still struggling with, something that is keeping you up at night. Maybe you're still afraid that the shoe's going to drop. Maybe you're afraid of something that's going to happen. Maybe you're running all the worst case scenarios through your head every night. I feel that with these two cards, you're, you're given the second chance. You're given the strong indication that you care for this person and love this person. But I feel like you feel that you're going to get hurt again or they're going to hurt you again or something's going to happen. You have this fear um, with the Nine of Swords. And my best advice on that is it's a communications card. So communicate. Communicate your fears. If they've hurt you in the past, communicate it. If they... Um, if it was trust issues, communicate it. If it was something that was bothering you, communicate it. Don't hold it inside. Don't keep it to yourself because that's just going to add to more worry and anxiety. Okay? Your partner side of this relationship is you have the Page of Swords, you have Justice, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. Justice can be a card of Libra. Wow. Um, pages can be their messengers. This can also indicate a child. I'm not having an emperor or empress card here uh, that I've seen. I haven't really looked, and this could be an empress. We have to wait and see. Yeah, there's, there's family here. There's definitely family here. So this could involve a child, or maybe you have a child already together. Um, but it's 
it's this this young person here that is very impressionable and very much um, in kind of the center of everyone's attention, I feel. You have justice here, and it could be bringing balance to a situation. It can be um, your partner could uh, maybe have gone through some legal troubles or legal issues, and maybe that's coming to a close. Maybe there was a custody battle over a child or something like that. Um, but there's justice here. There's bringing balance into a situation. There is um, this this better knowing of right from wrong and good and bad of you know what to do what not to do energy also with justice and then you have the ten of pentacles so your partner really wants to create a life that is um, indicative to kids and their kids and kids kids grandkids and great grands like having a family having something to show for it having something in the long run that is a legacy giving a legacy to family giving a legacy to you know, maybe creating a legacy, you and, and, and your partner creating a legacy together, uh, growing old together, having kids and grandkids and, and being those people. I feel that that is maybe what your partner is, is going for. Um, Justice is usually blindfolded and she's got the scale, but she doesn't have a sword that I can see. And, but she's she's all seeing. She's got her eyes uncovered. So I feel like your partner is going into this with wise, uh, wise with eyes wide open. Like um, maybe in the past, maybe they haven't, or maybe in the past, maybe there was some. Maybe they didn't want to take blame for something or take responsibility for something. But I feel like your partner is going into this committed relationship, or is in this committed relationship knowing what they're they're getting into or knowing what they're in for or knowing what they're doing is what i feel you have the past you have the lovers and three of pentacles and the wheel of fortune which is interesting because you have the two of cups here and you have the lovers here so i almost feel like you went from maybe Maybe not exactly partners like you are up here, but maybe maybe it was a sexual attraction. Maybe it was just a one night stand or something in the past. Maybe it wasn't committed to a commit something committed with the two of cups energy, um, and that could be where it bothers you or or you worry about it. Possibly you have the three of pentacles, and then you have the wheel of fortune. So see, yeah, even in the past you had. You know, if there, I don't want to say issues, but if you all were together dating or socializing or, you know, friends with benefits or whatever you want to call it in the past, then you have the three of pentacles and maybe you all found out you work well together. Maybe you found out you have a lot in common. Maybe you find out you complement each other that you can, you know, um, you maybe want the same things or you want to grow together. Maybe you all started spending more and more time together. And that was maybe a turning point with the Wheel of Fortune. And maybe luck shifted or the wheel shifted or turned on your side and said, you know, now's the time. If you want to start a relationship, this is the time. Maybe this is the person you need to start it with. Or maybe this is the person you need to proceed forward with. It's kind of like everything lined up. And you had this, um, this turn of fate. You had this, uh, you know, turn of the wheel. Maybe things weren't going your way for a while. Maybe things weren't going great for you. And then you had this, this turn of the wheel. And you were able to go, wow, you know, maybe this will be what I'm looking for. Maybe this will be the relationship I'm searching for. Your future. For both of you, you have the eight of wands. Something's moving quickly. It could be the relationship itself. Maybe you're moving in together. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're buying a house together. Something like that. There's some swift moving energy coming in. It could be messages. You have the Five of Swords. Again, it kind of goes back to this uh, Nine of Swords energy. Maybe whatever this Nine of Swords, maybe your um, worry has subsided a little bit down to the Five. You may feel like you've been, you're being pushed into doing something or you all are being pushed into doing something because this is the, the future for both of you. Maybe you feel like you've, you are push, being pushed into something or I don't want to say the word forced, but it is kind of like a bully card. So it's like, you know, 
I don't know, maybe it's maybe buying a house or moving in together or something like that. But you have this, um, this fast moving energy here. So you have messages coming in or this fast moving energy and then you have the five of swords. So this can be some, could be somebody trying to sabotage the relationship possibly coming into the future. It could be somebody trying to make some waves. I feel, I really feel like it's somebody trying to push you all into doing something that maybe you're not ready to do because I feel like it's coming really fast. It's like, they, they, you know, whoever it is is going to be, well, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, you know. Um, the Ten of Cups is the outcome, or not the outcome, but in the future. It's whatever it is that is your happily ever after. In this case, it's, you know, love and a baby and children or whatever uh, white picket fence and all the things ten of cups your ultimate uh, emotional um, happiness with this card so it's a beautiful energy the only thing I would hold on is that five of swords because it's like somebody forcing you to do something that you are not wanting to do. And at the bottom of that deck, we have the Four of Wands, which can be a marriage card. It can be a card of celebration. So maybe somebody's forcing you or wants to force you into getting married or wants to force you into, to, um, gosh, like I said, it's a marriage card. So kind of be careful with that. Um, all I can say is if you want to, absolutely, if you don't want to, I mean, don't do anything you don't want to do. And I don't, and since this, this is for you and your partner, I don't feel like it's your partner forcing you into it or your, their partner. You know, this is your reading, Aries. So I don't feel like it's your partner forcing you into it. I feel like it's an outside source uh, that wants to force you into something that, you know, I don't want to say you're not wanting to do, but maybe you're not prepared for. All right. So that brings us to the final outcome card. Wow, we have the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. This card shows maturity. This card shows finances. This card shows stability, structure, stability, uh, building, building a foundation, making a foundation, having a foundation. This is a beautiful card. It's a beautiful card. It's like they have all the things. The mountains are in the background. It shows trials and tribulations that you've overcome to get to this place. It's a beautiful ending to this reading. Um, it is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, grounded stability, money conscious, but a mature coming into this maturely, coming into this um, as adults is what I feel. Coming into this whole relationship culminating into adults energy on the bottom of that deck the other decks a moon card and pay attention to the moon phases whenever you get this reading whenever you see this reading whenever you get the reading because it's going to be different for everybody and I can't predict when you're going to read this I wish it good but um, pay attention to the moon phases it could have some significance <clears throat> pay attention to your dreams pay attention to again outside influences that may be trying to persuade you all into doing something you don't want to do or you're not ready to do all right we're going to pull one more card for you guys from this beautiful illuminated earth oracle it's a it's a beautiful reading I feel like there's a lot that you've been through and I feel again like it could be a second time around or a, a second chance. Nine of Wands, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords, you could have anxiety, you could have stress, you could have worry. There could be a lot going on in your life, but again, talk to your partner, talk to a counselor, talk to friends to see what's going on. Attachment, beautiful. I just feel with this card without reading out of the book yet that the things that we're attached to can also be binding to us. The things that we are attached to can not only cause us to have growth but can, can stagnate us. 
So it's, it's a balance. It's bringing in balance. It's kind of going with that justice card, bringing in balance, two of cups, balance, the lovers, balance, you know. Interesting. I also feel with this card is a um, energy of make sure it's not, you're not being, or they're not being, your partner is not being, I can't think of the word, where you all can't do without each other. You know, you have to do everything together, and energy. It says, we might find ourselves bound unconsciously or by choice to conditions that no longer serve us. Be aware of constraining situations and desires that have gone long unfulfilled. Release expectations and move forward with new possibilities. And again, I feel that in the relationship. That's why I said communicate, communicate, communicate. Because this could be the Nine of Swords. You might be thinking, oh gosh, if, if we're committed and we're this and we're that, now what? Now we're stuck. Now I can't do. Now I can't buy. Or now this. Communicate. You know? Um, because whatever's going on for you is going on for your partner as well. So you definitely want to make sure that you all aren't suffocating each other. You're giving yourself room to grow. You're giving yourself, you know, future energy, future, um, a life, a life together. And I feel with this King of Pentacles is that you will work it out. You will see it and you will, um, you know, this five of, pen, uh, five of Swords energy, whatever it is that is, uh, you know, somebody could be forcing you into or somebody could be pushing you into maybe it's time to confront that energy as well, right? I'll look at this for a second. Yeah, I just feel a lot of energy. Make sure it's not... It's not code... What is it? Codependency is the word I was looking for. Make sure it's not that codependent energy. at all and I just picked a card from this deck and it's freedom give yourself freedom give your both both selves <laughs> give you and your partner the freedom in the relationship that you both need in order to grow and be the person that you need to be just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you're stuck just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you can't go anywhere just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that there's no more growth in your life is over <laughs> right talk to your partner talk to your partner and open all this up because it's a beautiful, beautiful reading. And um, even the past energy, even the growth and the lovers, you keep coming back to each other for a reason or you come back to each other for a reason, there's a reason. It could be for a child, it could be for um, a younger person here. But your partner's full aware of what they're doing as far as um, what they want. And I think you are too, but you have your little, not leery is not the right word, but you're kind of more scared or you're, you're scared a little bit or freaking yourself out. But again, make sure it's not codependent. You have this beautiful King of Pentacles ending the reading. Again, grounded, stable energy, figuring things out, maturity, right? Maturity. And then you have freedom to let each of you be yourselves without, without this energy of um, constraints or without the energy of um, conditions. Yeah, conditions. Beautiful. Aries, let me know if this resonates with any of you. Thank you all so much for watching this. Um, if you like the channel, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to leave a comment, if you have a question, anything, I try to answer everything. So I appreciate you all being here. I thank you so very much. And until next time when I'm called to do readings, I'll be here. Check out the other things on my channel if you're interested. And Aries, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.